Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today we're finally, finally getting back to doing some gaming on my EliteBook 2570P. So there was a delay on this because I ordered 16 gigs of RAM. It came in very quickly, but one of the dims was bad and I screwed around with it for a couple days trying to figure out what the problem was because it wasn't really acting like a bad memory dim. Anyways, I sent it back to who I bought it for and it just took them forever to warranty replace it. And I just got the warranty this week. So we can go ahead and play games on the system today. So we have our Intel Core i7-3632QM running at 2.2 gigahertz. And we have 16 gigs of DDR3L memory. They have the same timings. We are running in dual channel mode. No idea what performance gains that will give us, if any. So let's go ahead and close out of this and we will open up our first game. And we'll just go down the list, starting off with Fortnite. And I'll probably have to do some updates because this has been a while, so I'll probably pause the video here and come back once this is loaded. Now I'm not honestly expecting too much of a difference. Simply because technically our GPU didn't change. Let's say play solo here. Get what 23 to 25 frames a second. And again, I'm playing through the camera, so there's a bit of a lag between what I'm doing and what I'm doing, what I what it looks like I'm doing, what I'm actually doing. So it seems to be doing all right. Let's uh. Settings, real quick, just make sure everything's set to low. All right. Alright, so this is going to be fun. I haven't found a gun yet. We're in the 1415 frames a second here. It's a bit jarring on the eyeballs. If I do say so.
We'll play till I die. Which probably should be the first uh, moment I see somebody else on the map. <laughs> I will say that I feel, even though the frame, rate, frame rates on this are pretty low, I feel like in a lot of ways it's actually more playable. Because I don't feel like we're having the issue with the assets loading in. You know, the, the buildings and stuff, I haven't run into an invisible building yet. Which I was doing before. Of course, I'm getting a lot of really interesting artifacts on the screen. It really is kind of crazy. Oh, and I died immediately. So, so I wouldn't necessarily purposely pick this game uh, to play on this system. Let's go ahead and try something else here. We'll play the same world. We'll screen that up. I definitely feel like the world is loading a lot faster. Oh yeah. I definitely feel like this is benefiting from the additional cores. Wow. That actually made a huge improvement. Sweet. That's looking pretty good, I feel like. Cool. Let's close out of that and let's open up something else. Let's open up Steam. Of course, we have updates here again, of course. Alright, we'll go ahead and load up Grand Theft Auto 5, let it do the patching. Alright, I think we're getting there. Maybe. Working on it. Working on it. <laughs> Sweet. And I have the sound turned off on all these just because I don't want to hit any copyright. All right, let's uh, let's get in the car and drive. Normally I play this with a an Xbox 360 controller. Oh, it's not even. I'm having the same problem as before. Is the uh, input lag on the keyboard is just ridiculous. I don't even have that bad of a um, frame rate or nothing. It's just I'm going to crash. Just because uh, the input lag is so bad. Jeez. Because I like I let go and it keeps turning for quite a while after I've pushed the button. Ooh. So yeah, I would if if the input lag wasn't so bad on here, I'd consider this almost playable, but I just 
Oh my goodness gracious. This is ridiculous. Bonk. All right. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. Alright, so those are the three big ones. Oh, Roblox. We can play Roblox. Do I have it on there? Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, we're getting 30 frames a second. It's all right. I just, there we go. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty decent. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Alright, so yeah, that was four games for you, uh, with some updates in there, I'll edit those out for you. Uh, so yeah, if, you, if that's what you're looking for, um, not a huge improvement over the Core i5, which makes sense because they're running the same GPU on the system chip. Uh, where it really matters is here, if we go ahead and run like Cinebench. This is where the, the difference really comes in, is if you're doing anything CPU intensive. And you can see all eight threads running there. I'll let this run. All right, and we are finished. And just look at that score. I want to say that's more than double what our performance was with the i5. Or darn close to double what that performance was. Yeah, looking down here, it says uh, Core i5-3320M is 565, and we have a 1,003. So, yeah, big difference there. So, graphics are going to be about the same. So, if you're looking to do this for gaming, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I would stick with the i5, but if you're looking to do more productivity with this, like video editing, we'll, we'll show some examples of that here uh, in another video. If you're interested, leave me a comment sec in the uh, comment section down below. So anyways, hope you found that uh, 
informative. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.